Okay, these are actually photos, folks. So we're going to discount the naysayers. Because there'll be naysayers. There's always been people on the, oh, it's the camera that's blacking out when the sun hits it. And we've already proved that pretty much enough. People th knew a long time ago that there, when people will come in and watch a video and put negative comments that basically they're hiding some truth of something. So you can see the halo of, of basically this is the electrical force field, a level of it. We're starting to find how deep it is because we see objects that go uh, Earth and everything that rotates around the sun close by. Mercury, Venus, Earth, so forth, so on, all rotates counterclockwise. So that when we see from their Soho shots that we see uh, non-counterclockwise uh, rotators. That, and as you can see that, that's a star, basically. A smaller star. And if not, doesn't matter, because it's a dead, a dead planet ends up being, uh, and that's, we're looking out into space, and as you see there, two stars, and no matter what, the luminosity. Okay, so there's water on it, or it's a burning hot star. Vice versa, at this point in time, we really don't care. As you can see, we can pretty much get an electrical spike off of, uh, and basically, be scientifical, actual factual, whether it's an, a planet or a star, and as you can see there, another close one there, uh, basically the sun somewhat eats material that is close by it, okay? Uh, the age of the sun, we've pretty much, physics has pretty much, f we have theories that figure this stuff out and everything like that. Pretty much actual factual, but uh, it'll take, it's one IU between us and the sun, so it'll take tons, if it would eat Earth, it's a hell of a long ways out, and we know that. And then the idea that, uh, the scary thing is, physics-wise, we do need to get to other farther away planets, not something that's closer to the sun. Uh, that's an actual physics there. Now, these are plants, planets or stars that are tinier and smaller than the sun. Then you get a good view from looking at the black and whites. So I love the black and whites because then you see the actual factual. As you can see, this is material. There is no filter over top of the sun here on this shot. And as you can see, that there is a, eventually, sooner or later, and as we go down here, you see a spark arc of electrical. And yes, when a flint stone, basically, the sun, don't get me wrong, is very hot. Magma, uh, gases that the sun is made out of and everything is burning hot and everything like that. But when it eats planetoid objects and or stars that are between us and the sun, as you've already seen from the Mars station, I've been able to show you the black. And I'll go to another shot here in a second. And as we'll zoom in here a little bit more, I'm not sure that if I, anyway, we're zooming in. So this is all the sun. And then there's no filter over top of the sun as you can see it. I'm just shooting way back. Okay, and then we'll pop out of here and we'll go way back. And you'll see the shot that we're at. And then I'll, whatever, what did I have it in? I went to 70 to 77 on that. So then I'll pop us down real fast to uh, like 125, bam. And then we're at our shot here at Lasco. So it's an actual photo from way out. And as you can see, if it is Antares, more than likely it seems to be because the idea that Mercury... Uh, we find, have found that it has rings around it, but this is not Mercury, I do not believe. I believe this is still our object that is Antares, because Mercury can't be this large from that far back on the camera shot, as you can see. And now the Sun, when it is close, Mercury would be somewhere... Uh, I'm not really going to be able to point to it here. Let, let me get to the fact on Lasco C2 here, we'll go over to that. Then I'll pop out of this in a minute, but we're at 777, and we'll roll down and look at the remnant today. It's a very huge remnant that's up there, and you have to realize the size of this thing. Uh, and we get a basically a star uh, talking to basically the remnant, which is basically a former supernova or exploded. And as you can see, as I proved in the video too earlier, if you watch the, the one I'm uploading right now, and there, it's the signature is the same as a lot of these massive star objects that are up, that are dying and dead, and eventually will more than likely it just we're studying it's an ongoing study in science of the sun and as you see it's force fields you can see the electrical energy and force fields on this and there has been some movies lately have been able to see the pulse of the sun the actual heartbeat you can see it resonating in black space uh, I'm gonna try to get on that on a video one of these days here in the future 
So we're zooming in on the remnants around here in this remnant here, but we're going to keep zooming in on this because we can see it doing an, uh, a twinkle twinkle, an electrical, yes, stairway to heaven to a star that's way the hell out. Uh, basically, you could look at this in the idea that that uh, somebody's dying and making a phone call, and but it's going to be a long time. This remnant's been up here for a long time. Uh, even if you know if I'm wrong and it's not the same remnant, it's a remnant that's up there no matter what, actual factual. But as we, we zoom in, we're going to end up seeing whatever remnant it is, and it pretty much seems to be the remnant that, because uh, later, a shot later, we'll, I can re reconfirm that angle. It usually always shows, and it's always usually watching that remnant. It's their studies that they haven't really been exposing to us and finding out. Basically, we're getting in here and finding this out ourselves. And as you can see, it does an electrical... Uh, there is a frequency wave going between here and there and that star or stars that it's twinkling from back and forth to whether it's dead or not it doesn't really matter uh, no matter what there is and no matter what if even if I'm wrong that that's not doing the twinkle and uh, let's we can go back to uh, I'll go back to the other shot in a little bit and we'll be able to see the magnification that is uh, We'll get all the way up to 16, and maybe we can see what we've got around here. And then i got to hurry up and pop out so that in the video so that you can see what we're looking at and get back up. And I'm all the way at the top. How far? There we go. We're way down here at our remnant that's way out there. So we're getting uh, star action of stars up there. And so electrically magnified... We're getting the anodes of those stars that are up there that are remnants that are by the big star. Basically, so these are planets, remnants. And then it's very hard, since we're looking in the bright sun, to be able to differentiate. Uh, pause this away, and then basically that's where we're at. And we'll go 777. And we'll pop down real fast to 125, and there we are in this shot, and that's what we were zoomed in on. And more than likely that is, should be exactly that it's sitting there still shooting at the remnant on this shot from Lasco 2 today. Okay. So anyway, there's tons of stuff between us and the, the sun. Tons of stuff between us and the sun. Not infinite, but heaps, quantum numbers of stuff, objects between us and the sun. And watch the video. Basically, I'll take you to it real fast. Now, this one has uploaded, and there's been a couple people look at it. You want to go see this as the main one you want to see because we show you all this material that's between us and the sun, and you can see it really good at the thin atmosphere at the auroral at the South Pole at Antarctica. And they could probably do the same thing at the North Pole, but see, the North Pole is melting a lot lately, so they don't really want to get a telescope. They're probably going to get, one on, they're probably going to get telescopes on barges here pretty soon and start just constantly having telescopes at the North and South Pole. And, but the thing is to try to keep those, if they put them on pontoons and have them floating on water, is to get, you have to have steady, solid ground to be able to get a good telescope view. Uh, you don't want blur. So you want to, the most important one is to watch this one here, this title here, Hottie, Holy Wow, Vino Black. You want to watch that, check out, because just today we got great views, a better view again. And then on my channel, you always want to watch the, uh, the basically footage that basically someone pirated out of NASA uh, and this has tons more views because they've messed with it. You can never trust the tickers because everything that uh, I'm letting you know about is actual factual data can't be uh, disclaimed so the idea that this video uh, basically at the end of July of next year to August 5th we're going to see what happens to Jupiter when something huge goes by it so basically uh, and I probably need to change the Ellen and get this off of the... Uh, as a matter of fact, I didn't do this, so this is very interesting that they've tagged me, so that makes it even harder. So I'm going to have to do my retitling to my deal. So anyway, it's known that I've had people hack into my uh, account and screw around with stuff, so I'll have to make a complaint. So YouTube, you can see what people are doing. I've never put this equal signs in this, so people are... Uh, putting tags on my account to try to hide my videos because basically I get no advertising money no nothing so it's all actual factual and it's all uh, my copyrighted stuff and everything like that it's my art it's my actual factual data okay so uh, let's go ahead and take a look at so you get a clear view of the Sun here and you see all that stuff and it does make it black in the sky of all that stuff the we have tons of material between us and the sun, and it's always in front of the sun, okay? 
it's always this stuff is always in front of the sun and in this light curvature around the sun if that stuff finally ends up eating all away one of these days it would be too hot here on earth so we do have a space race going on and we absolutely have to start concentrating on everybody's efforts on earth to colonizing places in space okay it's just actual factual because eventually in time the clock is always ticking the sun is going to go supernova someday and or no matter what will end up being making earth too hot to live on because when we lose the shade of all this material that's in front of the sun we're going to be in deep 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 do so and weather modification it's a nice to have an air conditioner so anyway scientific actual factual make sure you watch this here video this here and basically watch all my videos but basically and I'll try to take care of my web channel and get those uh, tattoos taken off it so that by you can visit my channel without being interrupted okay so I didn't know until now checking my channel out and looking at that to see that they, they had screwed with it and uh, they've messed up our communication they don't, these are always phone calls ladies and gentlemen FCC regulations this is a phone call because this is the internet it goes through your phone lines so you can broadcast to anybody you can make a phone call to anybody so I'm gonna get rid of the tattoo marks that somebody is putting on my account ie we, we can go back to it really fast and I'll show you that uh, and this one here is very important all these are t t both these are today in this video here that I'm making so it's all connected all this stuff is everything is everything so I never had any reason to put this here okay on the end of my title so I'm gonna have to get rid of this stuff so if someone's tagging my account YouTube pay attention people are hacking your stuff is not it should be everything my email all this stuff is privileged information Pri everything's privileged here and someone's getting in your account and putting tags on my account so it can't be seen check, check this out so everybody wants to hide scientific fact and truth okay uh, crazy as we zoom in on this, this should be Antares. We figure that's pretty much what we're going to instill out. NASA hasn't said anything. Uh, we're going to zoom in real fast, just finish this video out, and then maybe I'll hurry up and get over and show you the map too. But this is, uh, you can see what camera it is and everything like that. So we'll customize, we'll just go to 777 again real fast. And in the future, post people, if I don't take time to show it, then you know that's how I'd get to it. I go ahead and go 777. And then I scooter our butts over. Uh, looks like I'm going to have a little bit of fun here for a second with something from uh, SCADA. So, no, nope. we've get to be, as soon as I mentioned SCADA, then they, yes, supervisory control and data action know it very well. So does Mr. Uh, somebody who is uh, name of a software company that seems to be, and as you can see, we have our stars and everything like that, and then we get more than likely and tears and then we get a very good view of when we use our magnifier we can pop in and get a very good view and our free telescope because basically it's not really free you pay your taxes so that's the idea that that's how everything works out is you pay your taxes you stay out of jail and you uh, you paid for all this stuff here and you can see these now and tears there is an and tears B and so forth and so on uh, and they probably I you know I haven't really looked at Antares A. I don't know if they consider Antares itself to be A or if there's an A and B, but anyway, no matter what, we have these stars up around by that are bleeding through and being able to see seen right now at these Lasco shots. And so there's really not much if I go any more, if I keep zooming in, I don't think we're going to see any more because we're just going to keep seeing stars that are there and so forth and so on. So that are up by Antares and you just you just know that's that's not Mercury, okay? should be and hairs we figure now the, the thing on if when we do when we do see somewhat of a ring around mercury now mercury is the same size as the moon and we've been talking about star water people have been talking about star water and as you can see I noted before I showed you a window in my videos in the past and see they had screwed around and messed with me I've had people mirroring me so let me know email me and comment on my videos if you ever see a tag on my main always try to go to my featured area and let me know if they ever change my title here again because that backdoors me and puts me out and they scatter or spider me web me out there that I don't be seen that much you see what I'm saying counts video counts uh, and here we are looking at mercury doing its CME reactive flare basically what it is is it's a plasma of mercury it's thin atmosphere but as you see it thin atmosphere do what it does and basically you get a little bit up in the corner of what uh, more than likely Venus is doing and there you are from 
that coverage there, the lower left you can see from Sechi, and the huge CMEs off the sun. You don't want to be close to the sun, folks. Not Mercury or Mars.